During the War of Resistance, the KMT government relocated to Chongqing from Nanjing, and the city became the provisional capital of China. The CPC Southern Bureau was established in Chongqing in January 1939 and began work on the United Front. They united political factions, societal groups and non-affiliated Democrats in the field of national affairs. Chongqing became the main birthplace for Chinese Democratic parties due to this reason. Hello, I'm Li Juan from Chongqing. Hi, I'm James from the UK. So Li Juan, how many Democratic parties in total are there in China? Well, there are eight. They include the China Democratic League, the China Democratic National Construction Association, and the Jiusan Society. And one of the predecessors of uh, Revolutionary Committee of Chinese Kuomintang, three principles of people's comrades society, which were founded in Chongqing. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, that's why they call Chongqing the birthplace of the democratic parties. Today, we are going to show you around a place called Tuoyuan, which is reputed as the home of democracy in China. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Walking upwards along stone steps at West Village by the Jialing Bridge of Shanqingsi, Yuzhong District, you pass a cluster of residential buildings and arrive at Tuoyuan by the Jialing Riverbank. On entering Tuoyuan, visitors can see the elegant layout and a scattering of roomy buildings that overlook the shimmering Jialing River waters. In 1941, the China Democratic Political League was founded at Tuoyuan, which later became the China Democratic League. It was mostly set up by intermediate and senior level intellectuals who worked in cultural education, science and technology. In August 1945, Mao Zedong arrived for negotiations in Chongqing. Over the course of just 43 days, despite heavy commitments, he visited Tuoyuan on three occasions, where he met with figures such as the Democratic League founder Zhang Lan to discuss the political situation and major policies together. The first time the Thanks to the contributions of Tui Yuan and the China Democratic League to the revolutionary cause, Dong Bi Wu praised Tui Yuan as the home of democracy and Feng Yuxiang inscribed a horizontal board with this name as a gift to Xian Ying. As well as the China Democratic League, other democratic parties organized many activities in Chongqing. That's right, such as the place we're in now, the exhibition hall of the China Democratic National Construction Association, located in the cultural quarter of Baishang Street, Yuzhong District. During the War of Resistance, activities attended by forefathers of the China Democratic National Construction Association and the other patriotic industrialists and merchants, such as the Friday banquet was held nearby. On October the 19th, 1945, the CPC Southern Bureau leader Zhou Wenlai accepted an invitation from the Friday banquet and prepared a speech entitled The Current Economic Situation. On December the 16th, 1945, the China National Democratic Construction Association was founded, mostly by business people who attended the Friday banquet activities. After the founding of New China, the CBDCA played an important role in economic recovery and development and actively cooperated with the socialist transformation of capitalist industry and commerce. A few meters down from the entrance of the People's Park in Yuzhong District, there is a red granite monument inscribed with golden characters that read 
monument to the former site of the Jiusan Society. On the back, there is an inscription that reads Establishment Declaration of the Jiusan Society. This monument is about 40 meters away from the former site of the Chongqing Youth Building, where is the founding conference of the Jiusan Society is called. The Jiusan Society was set upon January the 6th, 1946, and held its inaugural conference at the Youth Building. After the society was established, it made important contributions to the construction of new democratic and social revolutions in China, reform, opening up and socialist modernization.